In Malaysia, every citizen produces some 16.8 kilogram of plastic packaging each year. The Malaysian people are conscious of this waste, and an eco-friendly awakening to plastics has begun. This year, plastic straws will no longer be used, and for recycling policy to succeed, you will need the participation of every citizen. Sunday morning, this place becomes busy as everyone is inspired to work based on their love of the earth. There's a recycling station here, which can help us pass the time as we chat and just take it as exercise. Like a drive through counter for fast food, the Selinger Kota Kumaning recycling station is based on the same principle, allowing the public to engage in recycling easily. They also teach people how to use their feet. Yes, I bought my own sneakers here just to step on the bottles. Volunteers told me we have to do this to save space. The seeds of environmental protection began with a vow. In 2010, the Ji Kuala Lumpur and Selangor chapter hoped each group could start a station. At that time, there were more than 80 teams working together, but there are fewer than 10 recycling stations. How did they implement this plan? We have encountered three major challenges. The first is that people are busy with their own missions because of their work. The second is to find a place and have a suitable space. This is not easy. The third difficulty is setting up a recycling system. When we put this idea into practice, everyone thought it would cost a lot of money. The hardships included finding the right time and place to do recycling. I was notified by the city council at the time that we had the wrong location. The place where we set up was incorrect, and our location was actually the opposite side over there. I almost fainted because we had already installed the fence. With all these twists and turns, the recycling operation eventually began to run smoothly, and the rent was also offered at a discount. This was the result of official recognition and support. When they do recycle center, they as a more as an education center. They it's not only to recycle to get money, but they are educating the public and especially the younger generation to what is uh, why we need to save this earth. The need for us to give this earth to the next generation. Volunteers painstakingly educate all the people who visit. When some materials came, we said we didn't collect them. Sometimes the volunteers said there were no recyclers to do recycling because the price was not good. They were going to take care of the earth depending on the money they could earn. The recycling station is willing to be a channel supporting recycling companies. Look at the recycling rate in Malaysia. According to official statistics, it's only 24 percent, which is less than half of Taiwan. To prepare for the government's zero plastic usage plan in 2030, supermarkets have already taken the lead in using biodegradable bags. Hello. You need plastic bag? Okay. Yes. In Malaysia, biodegradable bags have replaced plastic bags, which cost just a few cents, and it can decompose completely. It's very convenient to park here. You take the cart out and then put it in the car. Why do you need to pay for the biodegradable bag? It's a few cents, but it's very expensive. In addition to the eco-friendly policies of supermarkets and communities in Kuala Lumpur, the main place to cut down on garbage is the family home. Reduce as much to the landfill. Everything goes into recycle. Food goes to compost and uh, plastic goes to recycle. Yeah. The two members of this family only produce 0.4 kilograms of trash per month. Her influence also extends to people in the community. This 
oldest Japanese person just moved to the community two years ago. In 2017, the community garden just started and he will come here a few days a week to compost kitchen waste. If you live in the outskirts of Japan, there are often fields and farmhouses, but such opportunities are rare. When I moved to Malaysia, I'm very happy to do environmental activities with everyone. In this corner of the community is iCycle, which specializes in recycling various recyclables sent by the public. We have all have a barcode and they record how much we recycle every week. So there's a record, so they are also collecting data. Dr. Tan Ching Song promoted recycling coupled with the internet back in 2017. The practice is very simple. People sort recyclables at home, then stick the barcode on the bag, and then throw it into a trash can marked iCycle. The system will count each person's recycling volume. Whether it's law enforcement, recyclers, or managers like us, we can all use this data to reward or educate. Through these methods, we can change everyone's habits when it comes to waste production. Striding towards zero waste is the path that Malaysia's environmental protection movement is taking. It is starting with individuals and spreading to communities, and even involving charitable organizations and social enterprises. It is powerful force for change, which is promising a better life and environment for future generations.